Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, we're bringing another very aggravating deck to play against. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I guess you can guess what colors they are, and they are blue-green. hey -o. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we get into it, I'm going to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and the link will be down below. And this deck name is called Time White. You know what that card does, and then you know what we're trying to do. <laughs> yeah. But first, of course, our champion is Ariana Adventures of Argos. At the start of the game, after Mulligans, you can add one uh, Kayla, trusty champion, and or slash Ar Ariana's amulet, there we go, to your deck, to your hand, so. So you get two free cards on turn one. Seems, seems Sweet. good. Yeah, yeah, your hands, and one of them draws you a card, so you don't lose any value, so yeah. it's all good. But of course, our spirit is the spirit of Otterus, the new blue spirit, where you exhaust pay two and your target uh, unit gains unblockable, which means guardians can be used, which is amazing. And then soul burst, target unit gains unblockable this turn. So there you go. And it's got 12 blue cards that and you can use. It has an otter on it, so it's Yeah, cute. I mean, it's an adorable little otter. Yeah, yeah. You can't be mad at an otter. Exactly. All right, so the first creature is Kala, best friends forever. And it is one for a 500 unit beast. This card's name is always treated as Kala, trusty companion. So you can go get it at the start of the game yep. with, instead of the other one. And then you sacrifice this card, target unit in your control, gains immortal until the, this turn. So you're you like, just, cool, turn one, I get this dude for free. And then like, you got to play him still, but you're like, cool, it's, he's there always. Yeah, always. And I love the fact the irony of his name is best friends forever, but not really because he's dead. <laughs> he saves the person, but you know, there's no friends. That's pretty other. rough. Yeah, yeah, it's super rough. The next one is Skyship Engineer. The one drop 1000 exhaust return this card to its owner's hand if you do your next airship unit which we don't play cost one less but it helps with the triggers of being bounced and all yeah. that fun stuff next is made in the leviathan and is two for 1500 arrive you may flip one of your towers face up if you have two or more face up towers draw a card so late game if you already have two or more face up towers you're like cool pay two draw a card and i have a 1500 yeah so it's good it's, it's a very good cantrip card if you play blue you might as well just play her yeah, it's just awesome. Now, of course, uh, we have to have Ariana Hope of Argos. It's a three-drop, fifteen hundred. It has a brawler, so it can swing and kill a unit if possible when it gets played. And then Rune, uh, you, you may discard one card from your hand if you do search your deck for an Eaten unit and add it to your hand, which we do have Eaten, so it yeah. will affect. Next up is Great Hawk of the Cloud Sea because it's green and you're playing this card because it's that good. Yeah, it's three for fifteen hundred. Arrive. If there is a destroyed air tower, you can exhaust target unit and return another target unit to its owner's hand. God help you get two of these, because then you just bounce one and don't care. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just super fun. They get ridiculous real quickly. Now the next one, of course, Ariano Celestially Imbued. Four drop, she has the Power Glove, and a, or the Gauntlet. Oh my god, I can't even think about it. Yeah. Whatever it is. Infinity Gauntlet, Jesus. Uh, 4,000 for a 4 drop unit uh, legendary he hero, and she's a mega unit. So, the mega cost, though, is very steep place on one of your Ariana units. So, you have to have the Ariana Hope of Argos to be able to plop this on there. Mm -hmm. Now, it has target attack and unblockable. So, whenever this card attacks, recover up to two of your shards, and if you do draw a card for each shard, you recover this way, which is really insanely powerful. Hence why the cost is so steep. But expel this card you, until your next turn, your towers cannot be destroyed. So it helps you keep alive. Yeah, she can be really, really strong just because if you do get her in play and when you're attacking, you're like, cool, I get to draw free cards. Yeah. And kill your towers. Yeah. Next is Eaton, the Righteous Outlaw. And he is four for a 2,500. You discard this card from your hand, return target air unit you control with three or less to its owner's hand. And if this is in your discard zone, an air unit is returned from your hand for the second time in a turn, you can put this card into play exhausted. Expel it when it leaves the field. This dude is insane because you can get him yeah. out in like turn two or turn three yeah. pretty easily and not worry about it because you're like, cool, I have two 2,500 dudes on turn two. Just here. Turn yeah. three. Just ready for it. And you can't really deal with that because it's pretty disgusting. The next one is Arya, Inquisitive Protector of the four drop 2,500. It has Guardian for a robot girl. As long as you're, this card is exhausted, your opponents cannot attack the tower this card is in front of, which is super cute. Exhaust, move this card to one of your other vacant zones. So it's really cute. So they have to technically swing into her to kill her to be able to swing into it with other dudes, yeah. but then they're losing creatures. Yeah, and you're just protecting them. Yeah. 
Next up is Ira, the Savior of Argos. It's five for a 6,000 Omega unit. And you place it on one of your area units while you control an air celestial crystal and a water celestial crystal. Yeah. Units you control cannot be targeted by spells or abilities and are always unaffected by tower effects. And arrive, restore each of your destroyed towers. If you get this card and able to play it, you probably win the game. Yeah, completely. Like, I don't see why you couldn't because they can't really answer this unless they throw lots of dudes into it. And the fact that they can't do any kill spells and if you haven't hit their red or green tower yet, then that's cool because then your dudes aren't affected by them. So you just keep on swinging in. Yeah, and it also gives you X amount of life anywhere up to six yeah. or up to five. So, so you're just like, hey, cool, I get five life back. Thanks. Super good. Super awesome. Hence why it's called Time Wipe, because you're setting, resetting your board. Yeah. You're just like, hey, cool, thanks. Uh, you want to scoop? Mm -hmm. For sure. Now, of course, uh, what we have to do is the crystals. So the first one is the air crystal, uh, celestial crystal, which is a augment. The one drop, you can only control one air crystal, and then your air tower gets plus 500 defense, so that's cool. Arrive. If your champion or spirit is air, recover a shard, so basically it's free. And then you can discard this other one because you can only have one on the field. Recover a shard, use this only while you control another one. So it all helps each other and all that fun stuff. And the water crystal is relatively the same. It uh, You can only control one of them. Water tower gets plus 500. If your champion or spirit is water, dry card. And then discard this card, dry card. Use only if you control water crystal. So they're the same card, just one's air, one's water. Yeah. And you need both to play the Ira. So hopefully you get there really, really quick. Uh, Ariana's amulet is the one that you can go get from the beginning of the game. So it's a one drop augment legendary. Arrive, draw one card. Done. Sacrifice this card. All spirits lose all abilities until your next turn. So you can force their spirit to trigger when they don't want it to. Or you can just stop them from doing it next turn to win. Uh, next up is the Phantasma Guards. It is one of the best blue spells ever printed in yep. this game. Because it is one for put two guardians in play that are 500. Yeah. They can't attack. And it's not... It's not going to be a game-breaking card, but it gives you enough of the turns to make the, the game go into your favor. Yes. Because it's early game, you're like, cool, I'm going to keep you at bay just by being like, don't kill these towers early. Yeah, you can't scout them out, you can't kill them. It's great. Yeah. Thanks. And of course, one of the other most powerful spells is Ancient Spirit's Breath. So, one drop instant cast. As an additional cost to play this card, you may shard drain one. And shard drain is you grab one of your shards already out and put it back in its deck. And if you do, return target unit. The, on top of its owner's deck. And then the actual spell is return target, you know, with the cost two or less to its owner's hand, then the owner draws one card. So of course you can bounce one of yours if you want, but it's mainly just bounce two of their dudes. Yeah. For one. Yeah, one, one mana bounce two dudes. One shard activation. Next up is Ariana's Resolve. It is two for a spell. Choose one. If your champion is Ariana, in the name, you may choose both. Search your deck for an Ariana or an Ira card added to your hand. Put target Kala unit and or Arya's amulet from your discards and into play. So it helps you get back the two dudes you got at the start of the game, and it helps you get one of the two creatures you need to make the game just be like your big favor. Yeah, yeah. Be like, you have the Omega unit? Well, then go search up the unit yeah. that you need. Now, of course, uh, Omega Magic Cause, it's a two drop insta cast. If you have two or less towers remaining, this costs zero to play. Target unit cannot deal damage or attack this turn, draw one card. Extremely, extremely good. So if like you're on your last tower and you know you can Omega next turn, then you're just like, nope, sorry, don't destroy that tower. And then next up is the Omega Magic Mizu, which is two for an insta cast spell. Choose one, or if you have two less towers remaining, choose two. Draw a card, exhaust target unit, return target unit to its owner's hand if it's exhausted. Yeah. And it goes in that order, so that way if you want to choose the tap a dude, bounce a dude, you can. Yeah. Seems really good. Now of course, uh, with our shards, we have the Spirit Ruby, because you because it's the best, because you can flip your spirit face down, destroy a target unit. Yeah, simple as that. Then of course the crypto crystal, because you have a blue spirit, uh, produce one, but then arrive, look at the top two cards of your deck, put them in back in any order, so you know what you're drawing, and you know what you know how to ar arrange that for sure. And then of course the Argent shards. Now, we don't have a sideboard, technically, we just, because we don't know what the, your local meta and all that fun stuff is, so we do have honorable mentions though. And the first one is Celestial Team Up. It's a four drop spell. Draw two cards, so that's good. Then, if you control both an air unit and a water unit, you may put a unit from your hand into play, cost X or less. X equals the number of cards in your hand. So there you go. Simple as that. Yeah. 
Next up is uh, the Secret Project Ira. It is 4 for 2500 and your units adjacent to this card cannot be targeted by spells or abilities. It is there in case you need more Iras. If you don't want to just use the ones that are in the main deck, you can put more in there Yeah. to have more chances to get your Omega off. Pretty much. That's how that goes. That's mainly why she's there. It's just like another good Ira unit. Yeah, especially Cyborg. If they just put in more kill, then you just put in more Iras, and then there you go. Yeah. Oh, uh, what that does, the deck, the list will be down below. And hopefully when we play it, we'll actually get to see the board be, you know, changed and yeah. transformed back to into normal state. Pretty much. But with that, hopefully you enjoyed your stay at Geetopia Island. And you have a good day. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.